Hi, how's everybody doing? I've been asked by a couple people to uh, go ahead and show some uh, video of my uh, modified micro quad uh, with the KK2 board, which I have installed right there, to show the uh, stability and see how it flies. Um, I've uh, been playing with this for about a week now since I got the board in, and uh, just playing with the uh, fine tuning, getting everything to work. You see, I have my little tricopter family here. You might notice all these boards come directly from um, Blue Sky RC. Uh, actually, my uh, one tr mini tricopter board is a modified uh, first gen uh, quad board where I have the uh, servo on the inside, which uh, flies pretty well. So, um, just to go over a couple things here, um, I'm using uh, the uh, Blue Brick uh, Hobby King uh, 10 amp speed controllers. I know they're relatively new. Um, I have had no problem with them, uh, lots of success, and I'm also uh, using the, uh, you can see right over there, um, these small motors, I believe uh, AEO makes them, they're called the C10 motors, they're approximately uh, 2,900 uh, kV motors. Uh, the nice thing about these motors is that if you're doing anything on the smaller scale, you really need to up the kV. Now, I've flown in two different types of configuration. I've flown with the, uh, the three-bladed and the two-bladed. And from the discussions that I've seen on there, um, between the three-bladed and the two-bladed uh, configurations, the two-bladed is kind of more for speed and agility, where the three-bladed is kind of more for uh, lifting and power. Um, I, I like to fly my uh, tricopters pretty, pretty fast, so I kind of switched the uh, two-blades on this one and with this motor you can see I'm using the uh, the e-flight motors and I'm using the uh, again the, the Hobby King uh, speed controllers this was a little bit of bear to uh, to get uh, dialed in correctly but I got it so so you can see I um, have over here my the evolution of boards that I've been using so kind of going between the uh, Hobby King which are the clones of these uh, the black KK blackboard and then uh, switched over to what I would think would be the second generations because they use the uh, the MEMS uh, circuitry. And then I've also been uh, fiddling around with the uh, the multi Wii uh, Sirius board. Again, that's a little hard to uh, set up, and I think it's going to be somewhat on par with uh, what you'll see today. Now, um, you notice uh, what I did to strengthen up this uh, quad is that I ended up um, reinforcing it with some carbon fiber which I had and I ended up with these uh, smaller motors I don't know if you can see right there um, gluing them to the actual mounts there's like really no space for them the metal's kind of soft so uh, you know I, I've had a couple instances where they've come apart now you can see you know I'm sure everybody's quads tries look like this but you know if you're not using at least 20 zip ties then you're probably doing something wrong um, this uh, setup's pretty good it has uh, you know the wood originally before in the version ones really had really had a little bit of twist in it when you turned it when you uh, rotated it back and forth so I, I kind of reinforced it with the uh, the carbon fiber for stability and it's uh, completely rigid taken a couple do uh, drops on it and it's uh, held up pretty well now you can see the uh, pearl blades I'm using are the uh, the gem fans uh, the GWS ones don't seem to be as balanced and the holes aren't as nice as the uh, gem fans are uh, again uh, Blue Sky RC sells these um, another uh, person I've seen sell these are uh, cool hobbies or cool hobby um, the nice part about them is I think they're the cheapest ones on the market I've probably bought a batch of like 20 of them for like 15 bucks so it worked out pretty nice um, I purposely am using these uh, unbalanced uh, broken blades so I can illustrate uh, more or less uh, how well this board takes vibrations now according to the uh, some of the, gy the the gyro setup on this I believe it has a slightly higher refresh rate than your uh, traditional MEMS gyros as opposed to the 400, I think it has uh, 440, and I've also heard someone say that it could possibly go up to 2,000 if you uh, bypass some type of jumper. So again, I'm not really into the electronics of it all, but um, yeah, I'm sure you'll find those on multiple posts. Yeah, I'm going to be using again the uh, Hobby King uh, Nanotech uh, 
four, let's see, that's a 460 milliamp uh, two cell lipo. The three cells on these uh, don't seem to, to fare too well, so I figure two cells uh, uh, would be safe. So I'm um, going to go ahead and plug this in. Just bear with me. So as you can see that this thing comes in a safety mode right here. You have uh, self-leveling which is off and then I of PI which is on. I of PI kind of is kind of a like a heading hold so it will probably serve the same exact function as your magnetometer on some of the more high-end uh, multi-Wii systems. Now I don't believe and I'm sure a lot of people will correct me if I'm wrong that the multi-Wii has some type of uh, I of PI integration in order to uh, you know establish that but that's what I've uh, noticed so far uh, with it you can see that you have the editor which is this is where your uh, tuning comes in you now some people are going to ask me uh, what I have tuned in on this this is what I found works again uh, there's a there's one or two tutorials out there that I've uh, looked at um, with these two tutorials uh, they said that you want to go ahead and send your P limit to 100, I limit to 200, and then with your P basically uh, um, dial it down until you have no ice oscillations, and then with your I, uh, again, you'll have like slow speed oscillations. I don't like to fly with the I because I know that the uh, logarithm for that isn't um, exactly set, so I have it at the uh, lowest uh, possible setting. Um, you can see that I have the pitch and elevator coupled and the rudder I have the uh, the same uh, another cool thing about this which I highly recommend of course I don't have my receiver on right now but you need to dial in your receiver to zero um, let's see here the mode selection and I could go too much into that stick scaling alright you want to go ahead and change the stick scaling the stick scaling is kinda of like the expo um, it will play a major uh, have a major effect on the way that your uh, your 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 quad or your tri will, will end up flying. So highly recommend that you set that to the appropriate settings and not use the uh, default. Again, with the uh, the self leveling, um, I tried the P gain on it, and I tried the I limit, and I know that there is some uh, work within the next update to uh, perfect that uh, sensor testing. Um, sensor calibrations, uh, ESC calibrations. This is by far probably one of the best comprehensive uh, calibrations for the uh, ESCs that I've seen. So I, I really enjoyed uh, working with that. And then you have your, you know, your motor layouts to actually see what motor's uh, doing what. So if you go ahead and uh, give me a second, I'll go ahead and record a second video of how this thing looks in flight. So stay tuned.